What's going on, y'all, man? Welcome back to the PSN Commands Network, also the Protect Sports Network. It's your boy Tone, aka Tech, and we are back with another video. I get to a glory to God, for God, I would not, I would not wrap it, I would not be wrapping to her right now. For God's up indoors and pay way for all the people in the Lord and bring us today's video. We're here right, right these guys, the Washington Commanders, and today, and I did some non-Commanders content for y'all this week, but I just want to get all those division um, mock drafts out the way. Talk about the whole National Football League. It's the one time I do it every year. Um, when it comes to talk about the full league, but we want to talk about our guys today, the good guys, the commanders. I got three bold predictions for you guys uh, for the 2024 NFL draft. I'm going to shout out to Rio Robinson for the video I did. He did five bold predictions on his channel. So subscribe to Ramon with Rio. Um, he's on the way to 12K. Shout out to Bro. Uh, I remember Bro's at 500, and now Bro's blowing up. He's he, he one of the big dogs in our community, man. And Rio put the work in, he deserves it. And, uh, Shout out to Broski, not nah, for a no cap. But I'm going to go get into this. And this, we're going to talk about these pre predictions. If I get too far into it, though, we got a quick verse of the day. And we'll go ahead and uh, get right into it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to waste too much time, bro. We're going to get right into it. Uh, so in Acts chapter 2, verse 34, it states that for, Dave, for David did not, did not ascend to heaven. And yet he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies, until I make your enemies a full stool for your feet. So, man, Jesus fights all your battles for you, man. He beats all your enemies. You don't, you don't have to fight your own battles. You choose not to let Jesus fight him for you and uh, mind your business. That's why Jesus said to come peacefully. You don't have to come with violence. Jesus promotes peace, unlike other religions. I won't say no names. Um, I'm not going to attack other people's religions respectfully. Uh, I know some religions are very violent, things of that nature. Uh, I know a lot of people say, oh, it's Islam being attacked. I don't, I don't think Islam is a, uh, a uh, violent religion, but that's not another topic we're going to talk to commanders. Do you want to go ahead and skip to the 245 mark? You're allowed to do so for the actual content itself. So three bold predictions for the commanders. Number one, uh, this one I completely agree with Rio on. Uh, the commanders will have two selections in the first round. They will trade back into the first round to either get a wide receiver or a tackle. More than likely a tackle, I do believe. I hope that tackle was Olu Fashanu out of Penn State. I would love to see that. Not him. I don't really want to be a Mary Smith. I'm not a big fan of him. I think he's cool, but I just don't think he's worth trading up for. And Tyler Guyton's a guy that I don't mind trading up for if he's like in the late 20s, like 29 or something like that. Then I might subscribe to it. We want to give like me like a fourth, uh, fifth round pick and me like a third round pick next year, something like that to move up a couple of spots to do that. That's fine. Uh, but I'm not really trying to move up into the teens for Tyler Guyton. One guy I'm trying to move in the teens for is Olu Fashani. Um, or to or Troy for time, one of those two. Uh, those who those, those two selections would be cool. Uh, so that's my number, number one prediction. Number two, uh, this one that Rio did not state. I believe we will trade both our fifth round picks to go into the fourth round and get a player. Uh, I do believe that we might have a guy like a Jamari Brash on our uh, on our docket or a Cam Hart guy like that that's going to project to go in the fourth round. We only have two two got two fifth rounders. We'll use those two fifth rounders, move up, go get a guy like Cam Hart, Jamari Brash, something like that in the fourth round, even early in the fourth round, and maybe have it throw something else next year. I mean, like a six or something like that. Move up those uh, 40 spots or whatever it takes to go get one of those players. And I think we would do that. Uh, number three. Number three. I don't believe we take a defensive lineman, edge rusher, or defensive tackle. In the first 140 picks in the draft, uh, we we're set at edge for this year. Uh, we, we picked up Keenan Farrell, we picked up Darren Armstrong, we picked up Dante Fowler Jr. We have uh, KJ Henry in the roster. I think KJ Henry's gonna make this team. 
uh, he did some really good things last year toward the end of the season. Um, in, as a, as a pass rusher and as a, a run defender, I like what KJ Henry brought to the table. If he's the back end of your roster type of guy, you got some depth there. I don't think you really have to geek to go get an edge rusher. Now, the guy sit, is the guy's falling in your lap like a Chop Robinson. You ain't top on the beat. Uh, I, Isaiah Isaac in the in the late third or something like that. You ain't take a guy like that, right? Or the guy from uh, I feel like it was like uh, I feel like Christian or something like that. Or uh, even my guy um, my guy Jay Smith, man. If you can take him in the seventh round, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fifth round if you're pushing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I would love to see that as well. So you, there, there, there's enough edge rusher depth out here not to geek for an edge rusher. So that'd be my number three. I give you one more. I give you one more prediction. One more. I believe we draft a specialist, kicker or punter. I believe it will be a kicker or a punter, and we pick up a uh, a specialist in the priority free agent pool. I think both those people will be stashed on the practice squad. If in next year they'll be our new punter and kicker, Brandon McManus and Tressway will not be here next year. That's my final prediction. I went a step further with Rio. Rio said that we're going to have a new punter. I think we have a new kicker and punter next year. I think Brandon McManus will, will keep his job. I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, he will have his job this year. And then next year we come to free agent. We will not resign him. We will go ahead and call that kicker up. We'll let Tress walk. We'll call that punter up. Tress might even retire, like Rio said. I believe he might even retire. So we'll see what happens, man. That's a spicy one. Shout out to Rio for that one. I completely agree with that one. I do think we're going to pick up a, a specialist sometime in the draft. And I do think we're going to go ahead and pick up one in the uh, priority for agent pool. So that's my predictions. What are your predictions uh, for the 2020 NFL draft for the Washington Commanders? You can put three or five. So what's your bold prediction down below? And certain players being in the draft. Is um I left quarterback out of it because we're obviously gonna take quarterback at two. Uh, do you believe that we trade back into the first round? Uh, do you think we take a defensive end sometime in this draft? Uh, do you think that we're gonna take a safety sometime in this draft? What are some of your predictions? Comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, comment your thoughts. Y'all guys be easy, be safe, stay healthy. I love you guys. And uh, comment your thoughts on this video. I try to be more enunciate with my words so you guys can kind of understand me better. I don't want to talk fast and rush videos for y'all. So I'm trying to talk in much more deeper detail and much more uh, enunciation of my words as much as I can and be better with my speech for you. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, become a channel member for exclusive access to all videos, early access, and also members only live streams. Uh, support the channel so I can invest more into it. I'll put some more stuff back here for you guys and make it look a little bit more nicer. And uh, go catch the Command Dads every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And catch y'all next one, man.